Right, Steve, we remember discussing uh, my Casablanca picture, so I thought I would uh, show you how I started it. This, okay. of course, is Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart in the classic film Casablanca. Okay. Now, that was the original picture. Um, I thought it, it was a bit, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on down here which is not really necessary. So I cropped it. So I cropped it to that, as you can see. Okay, so, so I cut off quite a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just to help the picture along. Okay. Um, and then I did a method called posturization, where you, you split the photograph. This is a, a, a program that you can get on most uh, computers with posturization, where you take the uh, number of greys. Uh, in this in this instance, there was only six. So there's six shades of grey in that in that photograph now. Okay. So having done that, that sort of helps sort of define some of the areas it's mm -hmm. got there. So then, because that's a bit small, I then enlarge it. As you can see, it's still posturisation, and you can see yeah, there's lots, lots can more see. edges and things okay. on it. Okay. In fact, the one thing you can't see is the teeth and <laughs> mouth. So I had to do that separately. But anyway, from that, here's, here's the actual piece that I used, as you can see, which is uh, okay. slightly faded. And then that, that became that. So how, how long ago did you do this? Oh, quite a few years ago, okay. six or seven years ago, uh, which is why it's gone. Unfortunately, where I hang it, it's in the. Uh, it gets the early morning sun, and that's one of the no-nos with the uh, with veneers. You should never put them in the in the sun. I'm just moving it around, just yeah. so, just in case the lights shine. Isn't it? Yeah, but in uh, on my house, I've got so many pictures on the wall. I've got over 40 bits of marked on the wall. Um, so one or two of them do face the sun. <laughs> Fortunately, is one. Of them. As you can see, I might need to do a little bit of work on it sometime, just to finish it up. Sure. And can you, I mean, you, you could scrape that again and start again? Could yes, you, yeah, I could scrape, scrape the finish off, because most of the time, most of these little cracks are in the, uh, in the finish and not in the wood. Yeah. I mean, you do occasionally find them in the wood, but not very often. Because it's only, si it's only 6 mil thick, the veneers, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah. So when you've done this originally and you cleaned it up, yeah. you started off with possibly six mil thick. Mm. You cleaned it up. Where mm. do you think you got down to? I mean, it because of well, it varies. You see, because if you take a piece of wood like this here, which is, it looks like uh, it's a very dark wood, it's probably a bit of rosewood because I wanted the darkness in it. Yeah. That would be much harder than say this piece of wood here. Because uh, I'm just thinking, you, you and to get them all to get them all at level. the same level, yeah. and you, you, that's why I tend to use a knife because if you t if you knife it across like that on the on the on the lighter bits, it take a little bit off, and then as you come down there, you can take more. So in the end, you can feel the whole thing's flat. Okay. So you don't use a scraper, a flat scraper. Yes, I do. I, I scrape it off with yeah, a, but with a knife. Or you use a knife. I, I, I use a, uh, a scraper, some kind of okay. scraper. Okay. I mean, because people do use various sort of scrapers on it, and some people just use sandpaper. I tend to use um, uh, I, I tend to use a scraper, uh, and then put, put you know a few coats on it, give it another scrape, and then eventually I finish up wire woolen. Right. But there's different ways of doing it. Some no, it depends what you like. Some people use um, wet and dry. Okay. And and how many veneers in this? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Lots. <laughs> um, at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I should think something okay. like that. Okay, that's excellent. Mm. So, I mean, because to me, I looked at that straight away, and I, you know, I was thinking three veneers, but. Mm. It's, it's more than three. Well, I think if, uh, if we're going to talk about three veneers, I've got a couple of nice uh, three veneers which I can uh, talk to you about okay. in our next video. Okay, sounds good.